How do you go from like December, you have one deal to having like the confidence to say, okay, I did one deal last month, but I think I can do $7,500 or basically like five deals. Like what gave you that confidence? I mean, that's triple, quadruple what you were at in December. Yes, it is. And, you know, I know Burhan talked about, you know, when I posted about my success and it's true, I've been going at this for a while, you know, like it doesn't, it takes, you know, putting in the reps, it takes, you know, um, I, I went through a year, a year and a half of just going through the rut of getting a job and then quitting that job again. So I went through the motions. And then when I landed that first deal, I've had success before. And I asked, especially after our conversations, you know, I just broke it down and I'm like, I asked myself, I was like, how many, you know, based on my experience, you know, how many clients or in how many business owners do I need to put myself in front of? In order to get one deal so i was like okay i i did my numbers you guys can go and check out the post that i did i literally posted my whole brain you know um and it was based off of my norwegian experience so I just, way, for anyone that does what like she worked for norwegian cruise line yeah i did for about a year and a half and it was sales you know um and that taught me a lot if there's anything that i can give anybody today it's really like goal setting like goal setting environment and just persistent action really it's goal setting really 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 like when because because you know when you break it down imagine you know it's one flat fee is no less than a thousand dollars right so i i know my potential and i was like okay if i could put myself in front of nine business owners a week that means I'm getting two deals. There's so many nuggets that I could give, but really yeah. what I want to focus on today, like my biggest nugget that I want to focus on today is goal setting and is surrounding yourself with the right energy and the right environment. Let's talk about goal setting. Cause that's what I was thinking you were going to say is like the difference between when you started, um, what was it? No, like, okay, December 1st, you got one deal in December. You, you kind of had goals in your head of like, okay, I'm going to go get deals, but in January, you had like specific goals. I'm gonna get this many deals. I'm gonna get these kind of deals. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna talk to as many people. So for people that haven't ever done that, like what what did you do different like with your goal setting that in December? I actually wrote that? it down on paper. You know, like I committed okay. it to pen and paper. Cause like that whole month, you know, I, I tried so many different routines. You know, I tried so many different like goal setting, but I was really like, I was staying away from doing like money producing activities all the way up until December 31st. That's when I'm like, cut the BS out. Like you've learned enough, you've tapped in enough, like put it to action. And it's really just kicking yourself in the butt and just goal setting on money producing activities. So if you know that it's possible and you know that these skills and you should know that we're here in front of you, you know, it's possible. I'm seeing it. My clients are growing. I'm growing. It's unlimited potential. Besides just writing it down though, like, cause obviously I think we've all heard that you need it like, and it's true. You put it on paper, you have a way better chance of increasing it cause you're looking at it. Besides that though, is there anything else that you felt like you did different with goal setting that you hadn't done in the past that maybe you could share some tips on? Or is it like you did the exact, like pretty much the same, but the difference is just writing it down. I'm just curious. No, no answer that so, I'm thinking. So what I did was, you know, first I, I said, okay, I have like, how much money do I want to make? Cause it's different when you write it down, like your brain lets loose on a piece of paper. So I started with how much money do I know that I can make? Like you could start with one deal, like that one deal. If you see yourself closing that one deal, then that's just going to trickle. So, you know, I had closed that one deal in December. I already had a client. So yeah, it was just saying, okay, I want to hit 10 K and let me remember. I know that you did it in a specific way to where, you know, you broke it down from like the year to the six months, I believe down to. So that's what I did. I started with six months. I was like, okay, I want to hit 20 K. You know, I was seeing in the flat fee group, these people, you know, I think Elvis or someone wanted to hit 50 K a month and you had responded to the comment and told him exactly how he could make that happen. And I was like, okay. And I just took everything that everybody was sharing in that group, all the lives that we've done, it all comes together. So I was like, okay, I want to make 20 K in six months. Okay, great. Now let me break that down. And I broke it down to that one month. I was like, really? Okay. I want to make 10 K, you know, how many business owners, if you look at the calculator, the goal calculator, it's all the same, you know, finding out your closing ratio, finding out, you know, um, 
how many business owners you need to put yourself. So that's what I did. I was like, okay, personally, how many business owners do I need to pitch to get one deal? My ratio was three. That was a good baseline for me for everything else. For every three, I'm gonna get one. I wanted five deals by the end of January. It was three lead gens and two SEO deals at a minimum of $1,000 a month with the client that I already had because I upsold her to $1,500, which I did in that month of December as well. I think it was November and December. I took my $800 client to $1,500. I pretty much got organized. I was, because there's so many parts to the equation. You know, there's keeping your clients current clients happy or at the time that's what I was keeping myself busy is knowledge and keeping my clients happy and all that stuff so I was like okay I need money producing activities so I broke it down per week and I was like okay Monday I'm gonna have agency retention Tuesday I'm gonna have client retention Wednesday filling up the pipeline Thursday filling up the pipeline Friday follow-ups so you guys can go and look at that post and guys if you guys don't have your goals like my I do have a nugget yeah yeah, I'm just gonna say really quick, my goals are written down everywhere. Like they are sitting in here, they're on my phone. And like, you saw this paper, I literally just grabbed it right here. My, like, this is my goal right here. How to, how to get to $1 million in one month. And I have like every single step, how, what, like how much that needs to cost, the product needs to cost, the service, how many clients at that price, how many I need to pitch what I'm willing to give up. So I, I have this everywhere. This is just my $1 million in a month. I have it broken down right here on this sheet. And if you guys want a good place, like a reference, because we went into really like deep detail in Flat Fee Mastery on this. But what I was borrowing from was this right here. The, the Think and Grow Rich page 26, right here in the chapter called Desire. We literally followed this uh, six steps. Boom, 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 boom. This is how we set our goals and our targets was based on this book right here. A great nugget that I could share is that I reviewed my weeks. So I wrote down, it's really keeping yourself top 10. I pretty much stayed off of social media. I just committed all of January to money producing activities. Give me some examples for those that are like, what, what the hell are you talking about? Give me some money producing activities you're talking about. And then you can so, share. Yeah, instead of watching Netflix, I was tapping into YouTube. You know, I love listening into podcasts. I love, you know, um, so I cut out TV, I cut out social media. So it was like just disconnecting anything that didn't serve me in that sense. If you are ready and know that you are ready and have the null, you know, like you know what you're talking about and you're just missing link, it's just wanting to drive that revenue in then I would shift your focus onto tapping into groups like us because we're talking about sales, we're talking about energy, we're talking about, there's knowledge on everything in that group, but most importantly, like it's bringing it full circle. It's tying in that last, uh, that last knot for you, which is knowing that it's possible because you've yeah. been going at it on your own. And that's what I did. I was going at it on my own until I got into, although we've spoken and although we've had our conversations, it wasn't until we were in that group and we are just on track with each other.